everyone loves a good recap. And that's why a year in review campaign can be a great way to remind your users why they love you and it will leave a lasting brand impact. In this video, we will learn how to set up such a campaign for our fictional fitness apps users using Make as a driver to automatically generate personalized images. In preparation for this video, I've created an Airtable base with some fictional example data and also a fresh Placid project with a custom design template. A Placid template is similar to a design in, in Canva or Photoshop, but it can be filled with data to auto-generate visuals. Using one of our many integrations, you can fill text and media layers with your data to create images, videos and PDFs. This video and the creation of a year in review campaign starts with the most important step first, data. You need data, you need structured data and you need to know what you want to build before you can build. In our case, we try to um, send our users of our fictional fitness app and like end of the year kind of image, which gives them a summary of, of what they accomplished in this year. So let's have a look at our template. That's a nice thing to do when, when you're using a fitness app. You totally want to know uh, these stats, for example, how many workouts you've done this year, how many tons you've lifted, how many calories have I burned this year, and uh, your own username, your own profile picture, of course, branded in our, in our fictional apps design, and also with a little bit of, of social comparison inside of it. So it, it, it should tell me how, how did I, uh, uh, how, how I've done in, in comparison with, with other users using this app. So this is, this is totally an image that, that users also would like to share in, in their circles and with, with their friends. So structured data is everything and, and thinking about it. And, and, and depending on your use case, your app, um, or your business, this, this can be totally different, but in general, you can, you can look for KPIs that, that you know that are important for the user and would give a nice summary of, of a year or uh, a, a different uh, time frame. So for, for this kind of image, I've created an Airtable base now with, with some static data. Of course, this data can come from, from your own backend, from, from a Google Sheet, from anywhere else. I've just picked an Airtable because it was easy and, and pre-populated it with the data that I will need. So I have a list of profile names uh, with pictures. I have a number of workouts. I've, I've calculated the percentile in which this user is, depending on the amount of workouts with, with the other 20. Uh, I have numbers of tons lifted and calories burned. And I have an empty column for the personalized image. This is where we want to send back in the end. So this, this will be the end goal. We want to uh, take this template, fill in all the data and save it back here. To create our images, we have to create a mix scenario. I have already added the Airtable module here to mine. So you don't have to see me fiddling around with API tokens too much. Uh, I've just hooked up the Airtable or Airtable here with, with the data in it and uh, set the limit to one so we can hit run once and have an easier time testing it with, with just one record, right? So as our next step, we are going to add the Placid module with the action create image. For that, we need to add a new connection that we will call Fitletics. And in our template, we can just Click here on to integrate, which brings us to a page where we can copy the make API token. And we paste it in, hit save, and we are in. In the next step, we can select our template. Since we have only one, it has to be this one. And then we can see all the layers that are available to us. Same as in our template here. We can see username, percentile, value, one, two, three, uh, everything is here and dynamic. And now we are going to fill these values with the values from the air table. So let's take first the ones I know. I know the user photo will be the profile picture. Ah, 
I think I have to take the URL out of it. Yes, profile picture URL, since it's an attachment field, which could have uh, multiple images, we take the first one. Then we know the username. This will be the profile name. Um, then we have value three, two, one. This is, what's this? Ah, this is one. Okay, one, two, three. So one is workouts and two would be tons lifted. Value one would be workouts. And two tons lifted. So three has to be calories burned. Calories burned. Then it's just missing percentile and arrow. Okay, let's have a look. This one is the, the percentile layer and this one is the arrow. All right, we just need to fill this one here. Let's copy out the default text and stitch together our own. So go into percentile text, paste it in. And instead of this, fixed value, we are going to paste my calculated one and hit OK. I think we can give it a try now. Fetching one record, creating an image with it. Already done. Let's see what have we gotten. We have one image URL. Going to open it. Yes, we have our username filled in. We have the workouts. He has lifted a lot of tons. He has burned a lot of calories. We have his face in here and also a percentile. He did more workouts than 41% of the other Fitletics users. That's pretty cool, right? I think it would be even more cool if we'd hide this information and the arrow if, if the number is lower because um, maybe it gets a bit weird if, if it says only 10% of Fitletics users. Uh, but with Make, this is this is super easy to do. And now we're gonna adapt this. Essentially, we want to hide the percentile and, and the arrow. So this one and this one, we are just going to hide these layers if the percentile value is below 40. That should be easy. Let's give it a try. Percentile, here's a height layer function. Uh, height layer, we can map this. Mm, then we need an if. There we can say if workout percentile is lower than 40. then it's true, if not, then it's false. So if worker percentile is lower than 40, then true, hide layer, if not false. So above 40, it's false, right? I think we should be able to copy this into the arrow as well, because the same logic applies. Let's try again. Uh, since we had 41 in this image, it should, it should still be visible. There it is. And now, what's the user? Revolution routine. Revolution routine gets now a value of 39. And now it should be hidden. Yeah, perfect. Isn't this a nice image? can only imagine all of our users uh, wanting to drop these in their Instagram stories, right? Super cool. Let's change back his percentile, 41. And now to, to complete this one flow, we are going to send back the image. So let's add the Airtable module again. We update the record in the Fitletics Airtable. Fitletics 
see in review. Table one. And the record ID will be the record ID of our record that we got in the first time. Then let's go to the personalized image field. And there we can add a fire URL. This will be the URL that we get from Placid here. Just drop it here. We don't care about the file name at this point. And we hit OK. Then we hit Run once. And sent it back to the air table. True enough, there it is. Cool. Now let's do it for the whole table. Let's turn this limit up to 20. I think we have only 20 entries. Hit OK. Let's run it once. And it's already creating. This will take a bit of time now. Yeah, but they are rolling in. Kit Serene. Pretty cool. So let's see the... Ah, was the arrow here now? No, the arrow is gone. Yes, the arrow is gone because the percentile is 30. We here we have a 75 percentile and the arrow is here. Nice. So I'm just uh, creating the images and sending them back, sending them back into the air table. So we have uh, one complete um, data row in our data set and, and have like, like a finished thing. Uh, of course you, you, you could put this in image anywhere else as well. You, you could also, like in the next step, send it directly out via email or post it onto social media, maybe reference the user, like like uh, in, in Twitter, mention the user when you post it uh, directly onto his profile um, or just send it back into your own backend. These are all options that you can do, like like send it back into your own backend and, and have it pop up in your own mobile app or, or in your web app, anywhere else, right? So this, this is just an example of, of how you can use it and how, how easy it is to, to generate these images automatically without having to think about it. And uh, you clearly don't want to create these images uh, one by one with, with Photoshop for probably thousands or ten thousands of users. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. We have more information on our blog and then other ideas what you can do with year in review campaigns, but I will, I will drop uh, all the links in the description and I hope you like it. If you have any, any comments or, or anything I can do better or any other ideas that I could, I could make a video about it. Uh, just let me know and have a great day. Bye. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.